Wednesday here at agriscaping.com. I'm Justin Roner. So we're going into the pickaxe, the power of the pickaxe. Now, driving back home, there was a, uh, a talk about the size and the weight of your pickaxe. So this is actually a five pound pickaxe. It usually says right on the blade. So this is a five pound pickaxe. It'll feel a lot more than five pounds. Digs, D-I-G-Z. So if you want to check out digs, these ones are also kind of cool because the finger pads on three of your fingers can actually work on a phone. So you can actually still do all your touch dialing and stuff like that on your phone. and it, they, they work well with that. But the other thing is just to make sure that your hands are protected. You're not getting blisters when you're doing this. But on this one, you do want to switch back and forth. And so what are we going to look at? We're obviously just digging out some sod. And uh, based on how much you, you eat into the soil, you know, how deep you're going with it, is going to be how much of a workout you're going to get. So if you're growing shallow, you're not going to get as much of a workout. But if you're going deeper, the way I like to measure my depth is that I'm holding at the, at the base here. I've got my two hands on it. And then when I'm sliding down, see, if I slide down further, the further I slide down, the deeper I'm going to end up in the soil. So I want to keep my back nice and straight. And if I want to keep it shallow, I'm going to keep my hand tight and I can stay shallow. If I want to go a little deeper, then I'm going to let it slide down a little further. And I've got more bite and I've got a deeper workout. So doing these, you only want to go about five and do the exact same thing. But pay attention to your grip on the device. So on your tool workout you're going to get. Now, first things you're going to get is a workout on your shoulders. As you can kind of see with this, this thing likes to shred your shoulders pretty good. And that's a good thing in the workout world, get shredded shoulders because you'll be nice and tight, right? But the other thing that I'm doing, you'll see I'm going down a row. So I'm doing five to ten. I'm going to go a row. I'm going to sweep that off. That's part of the workout too. <laughs> so I'm going to sweep that out of the way. And then I'm going to go to my next row going with my other hand. So now I'm switching the other side. And now I can do the row going this other direction, going this way. Now, one of the other benefits of this is obviously I'm digging out grass so I can put in some more nice edible garden beds. But the other thing is, is that there's a couple different body groups that you can work on. There's a lot of core strength going on from my tip of my arms all the way through my shoulders, all the way through my obliques. Now, if I want to shift this workout out so I'm really going more on the obliques, then I want to focus on my twisting action more than my arm action. And then I'm going to get a lot more ab workout, lower back, all these kind of things. So if I'm, I'm doing that, you can see I can, I'm just switching my shoulder. So I keep my hand grip very fixed, and I'm using my, my torso to do my workout. And I can do the same thing and go across all the way down to one edge, usually about five feet or so is about all you want to go. And then I can switch arms, cutting back across. So... You'll be able to clear a space, usually about 10 feet long or so, uh, for about 30 minutes. And you've done that work for your day, and there's your workout Wednesday. Now tonight, before we finish out, tonight we've got a free class online. There's a link, if you look down, it's the seven, seven Steps to Homestead Planning on Any Size Property. I've got one of our ACEs, our certified educators, joining us from California, Tylee Sewell. It'll be awesome to be on there. Hopefully we'll see you later on this afternoon. See ya.